Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Kawaii video. Today, we'll be taking an in-depth look into the advanced features available on the Kawaii Piano Remote app. This app is available on both the Apple and Google Play Store. We recommend you download the app and follow along in this short tutorial. If you haven't checked out our previous video, click on this video over here to understand the basics of the Kawaii Piano Remote app. Alright, let's get started. While browsing the different sounds available in the library, you can pull up the menu to view the available options for editing the sound. The rendering option allows you to change the sound engine with various moods such as classic, rich, concert, and etc. We'll go over to the grand piano settings and let's start tweaking the sound. If you have one of the Kawaii flagship models, we recommend checking out the rendering engines as these rendering engine algorithms provide you with the most detailed aspect of each grand piano sound. You can change the virtual piano artisan settings to tweak the resonances of the piano. Let's dive deeper into the piano artisan settings. We can adjust the touch curve of the piano, which affects the velocity of the keys when pressed. Voicing affects the polyphony of the piano samples, which allow for thicker or thinner tone adjustment. You can go further into the voice editor to edit each individual note voicing. Simply press the key you wish to edit, and from there you can increase the voicing of the individual note. Each setting over here represents each component that you can find on a grand piano or an acoustic upright piano. We have string resonances, cabinet resonances, fallback noise, hammer noises, top board settings, and even the decay and release times of the piano. There is also an option to adjust the level of your half pedal as well as your soft pedal. So these will be useful when playing more advanced classical or romantic styles. The ambient setting allows us to put the piano into a simulated room algorithm. In this section, you can select the different room size you wish to put your piano in to also simulate the size of the piano reverberation. You can also change the bass tuning of the piano. 440 Hz is the default piano tuning, but you may change it to simulate down-tuned pianos that come from the golden era. You can also transpose the piano for quick key changes. This is useful in church settings where we have to match the key of the band from the original score. When you're happy with the sound, go ahead and save your settings and give your preset a unique name. From there, you'll be able to access your pre-made settings in the user menu. Let's take a look at the piano effects. We have the classic reverb and delay options. Both are useful for adding more texture and character to your sound with further in-depth adjustments available. Our piano specialist John will now select a reverb and a delay of his choosing, activate it, and give a short demo. We can develop our instrument patch even further by layering a second sound with the dual mood. We can have a piano with an orchestra layer, allowing you to play two instruments at once. John will now use the split mode to combine the wood bass instrument with the piano. The split point determines where the instrument will change along the keyboard. So on the left hand you have the wooden bass instrument and on the right you have the piano.
Now, let's go to the music tab. Over here, we can pull up one of the saved songs from Alfred's piano lessons and select them for playback. We can also activate concert magic mode, which will automatically adjust our playing on the piano to match the song selected. The key we press will automatically follow the chord of the current bar in the song. We can adjust the metronome, its volume, tempo of the song playback, and the transposition of the key. The AB repeat section allows us to loop a selection of the song for more focused practice. Finally, let's take a look at the four hands mode, a feature which allows for two people to play on one piano. Similar to the split mode, the piano will have a split point where you can have two people playing the piano or two different instruments entirely. The octave shift lets us adjust the octave for each side of the piano and this is useful if you need to play duets where both parts are on similar registers on the piano. Simply add or subtract the value for the octave shift and the octaves will go one step up or down to match your preference. And that's all for this video. Hopefully these tips were helpful for you to get the most out of your kawaii piano. We encourage you to use these features to further enhance your playing experience on these wonderful instruments. Thanks again and we hope to see you in the next one.